Hello everyone and welcome now to a game between Select versus Renegade here on Daybreak. Select spawning as the Red Terran player on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Renegade spawning as the Blue Zerg on the bottom left hand side of the map. Customary, good luck, have or have fun, have fun, good fun, good luck, and a return of U2 from Select. So apparently Select listening to U2 in this matchup before as the game begins. Renegade spawning as the blue zerg over here at the seven o'clock position. Meanwhile, select is spawning as the red Terran at the one o'clock position. Terran versus zerg on daybreak. And this is always a matchup that I like to see. Um, if you guys didn't know, I did cast with day nine a couple months back at the MSI battlegrounds in Southern California. Very, very interesting tournament overall. But that was when I really begin to be uh, really really started to see the usefulness of range five queen range five queens on blight utilized with infestors and broodlords especially on a map like this on daybreak where taking down the center rocks makes the map smaller now zerg players generally want large maps in the beginning so that they can expand and take care of every uh, take care of their bases and be, be able to pretty much macro in peace Later on though, they do want the map to be a little bit smaller so that their slow moving tier 3 units, their infestors, their broodlords, um, can actually get to where they need to go. So a map like Daybreak is a map that is very very nice for them as Renegade now moving around with this one drone in a rather curious direction, perhaps scouting for some proxy barracks. Now, Select has not done the proxy barracks. Instead, he will be opening up with that standard Terran opening. Here, it's going to be a one Rax expand. Most common strategy as of late. And now we are going to get into 16. Oh, wait, wait, what's going on? Upgrading to an orbital command there. Harvest some minerals and then go ahead and build up a command center. Waiting for that SCV to do something now. All right, SCV is going to be doing some scouting. We'll see also if Renegade looks to establish an expansion here sometime around the four minute mark. A drone will get pushed away and the Marine able to push away this drone before the drone was actually able to spot the command center. Now the one drone though did go inside the base and he did spot that there was no gas at this point. So there's not much Select could really do except for having a whole bunch of proxy barracks or be setting up a command center there you can see now the drone now trying to make its way up and it will be able to get up inside this is huge that marine now trying to chase after this one particular drone i believe the drone will fall here in just a second but not before it gives all the relevant scouting information to back at home all right the drone natural regeneration for the win down to one hit point and that marine should be able to shoot it and finish it off oh look at that that drone is taking some very very interesting corners and finally gets taken down now renegade is going to be established no but he's not establishing up another expansion yet instead moving out with a, a fair number of zerglings there could be eight zerglings on the field we are now going into factory factory reactor hellions most likely as soon as we get enough gas and this marine is done we should be seeing um, a reactor on that barracks in order to double train those hellions is it coming in yes it is but the zerglings may look to deal a lot of damage well before that those hellions are out zerglings now trying to come in and surround will they be able to do exactly that yes they are getting in some easy shots and now trying to head up the ramp not going to be able to make through but they will be able to perhaps take down a reactor as a command scent or a supply depot has been destroyed zerglings now just still starting to flood in over here one zergling attacking over here the marines were taken down just moments ago and the reactor is not going to get operational this is a huge 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 blunder no wait it looks like the reactor may become operational and now the scvs just need to constantly repair more scvs need to make their way over the reactor does have one building armor multiple scvs trying to repair here and these Zerglings are doing exactly what they want to do right now, which is force these SCVs to stop mining and then spend minerals and gas on repairing. All right, it looks like the front door will be held here. At first, I thought this was a bunker. No, just an engineering bay as one Hellion is all it takes to push back all of those Zerglings. All right, Select is sitting at 32 over 46. Harvester count 
25 SCVs versus 34 drones. We are going into four queens now, so four queen play. And we'll see where Renegade goes with these queens. He could lay down creep tumors here and here to try to establish connections to his third base. Or just simply move out across the center. So three Hellions now on the move. There are a lot of Zerglings on the field. The Zerglings do not have Metabolic Boost. So that means that they will not get within melee range that quickly against those Hellions. Hellions still dancing around, now able to torch their way past a couple of Zerglings here. The, the, those Supply Depots now down to 50 some odd hit points. And so far, Select is just playing a very conservative game. He is going to be perhaps training up a Banshee. Yes, we'll be going into Banshees and now looking to place down pressure with these Hellions. These Hellions will most likely not do very much of anything perhaps stop these creep tumors at the very most as we are going to see the spine crawler is now up all right hellions are going to be making their way in and wow the hellions were not even meted or greeted by the queens that were actually over there at the third this could be very bad news hellions do do just horrible horrible things to mineral line as you now see select has gotten nine worker kills more zerglings have been taken down the queens now trying to regroup together renegade off to getting up another operating hatchery inside his own base. Will these Hellions be able to do any damage? No, it doesn't look like it. Just torching a couple more drones. One more a, a torch or two more torches on these drones. No, will not be successful as that regeneration is now kicking in on those drones. So the drones pretty much not going to get one-shotted any longer. Harvester count 55 compared to 44. We see two Hellions and a Banshee now trying to press forward. And this is going to take down some of these Creep Tumors pretty quickly. We are also seeing a third base established by Select. A bit surprised by that. As many times some Terran players will take this particular expansion. As it forces the Terran player or allows the Terran player to be that much more aggressive. Now Select still just utilizing... Hellions and Banshees. We are going into more factories here as well. So we will be running up on three factories in just a moment. But how much damage is Select really looking to do here? This army composition is not very effective at taking down buildings. Um, good at taking down workers. But that is essentially it. The Banshees are now making their way in and will get spotted very quickly by a spore crawler now backing away outside of combat range one queen gets taken down as the hellions now once again continue to torch and deal more damage here the hellions and the queens both sides fighting together the hellions trying to run off of creep and now try to do a little bit of a starburst action to finish off the rest of these hellions the hellions however parking themselves behind the mineral lines and able to stay away there is stay stay alive in this battle Yeah, I was trying to make a joke about uh, the Hellions staying behind the mineral lines, like staying away from the girlfriend's father and, you know, parking behind the mineral lines in there. But the joke just wouldn't come out. And then I just sounded very tired. So am I? Uh, yeah. All right. So, so far, pretty standard action coming in. Select now with supply depots on the front. SCV is now being transferred over here to the third base as well. It will be at the 4 o'clock position. Banshees are now traveling 2 by 2 and looking to deal some damage here. But this is not going to really work out as the Banshees are now split. Is the, Are we going to see perhaps another Overseer come in over here as the Queen now trying to get off some shots? The Overseer is now making its way over. This Banshee is able to retreat, retreat and return home. And we are now at three bases to three. And this is something that Select actually wants. The Hellions now trying to drive away. Will they be able to get away? That is the question. It so far looks like they are going to be able to get away a little bit. As the Hellions are starting to just torch through many of those Zerglings. The Zerglings have finished off and surrounded some of those units. More Banshees just in the air. SCVs attempting to auto repair. And they're actually able to repair one of those Banshees. As the Banshees are getting off a lot of damage here. The Hellion here not even getting and two zergling kills but perhaps enough damage was dealt and now renegade sitting on 117 supply compared to selects 110 
Harvester count, 88 drones, 68 SCVs. There are five mules in play, though, which will definitely help out as Select now goes into a mass rack strategy. Will be able, has five factories, one of them with a reactor. Will be able to train up siege tanks hell and quad hellions, perhaps even adding more add-ons onto the factory as well to deal even more damage. What is it going to be? It is going to be another reactor and a tech lab. So three tech labs, two reactors. That is a whole bunch of buildings that uh, that the t or a whole bunch of buildings and a whole bunch of production buildings at that for select to really retrain and add up to his army zerglings let's take a look at the upgrades only sitting at one one we are going into two two upgrades for both sides zerg is slightly faster also in terms of pathogen glands and the infernal pre-igniter 14 drones being trained at a time Renegade looking absolutely devastating now. Seeing that 88 drones with four more drones still coming in. He should be able to get into that magic 90 drone range in just a moment. And then transition into that late game tech that is so difficult for many, many Terran players. All right, back over here. Zerglings now trying to push their way in. There are a lot of Hellions and a lot of Thors here. Cancel it. No, destruction on that one particular command center. Loss of 400 resources. And we'll see what will be happening next as two SCVs now building two separate command centers. Hellion still dancing around, chasing or torching off some of those Zerglings there. We are going to be seeing on four bases to four. Select is a bit behind in terms of overall um, overall supply count, but I really got to say that I believe Select may have the advantage here. He does have a farther tech. He is going to be going to he is going to be going into a triple Thor play off of three bases. I believe that's the, pretty much the most amount of Thors you can add. And now he's going to going to be going to also into a four or what into a fourth base. So he will be able to perhaps train up quad um, Thors if he decides to Select now making his way over. And these Thors are just going to simply get in position and destroy all of these all of these spine crawlers. All right, in comes the Infestor. Infestor able to get off one fungal growth. Zergling is not looking to swarm in as well. How much damage can be had? The Queen is not very strong against Thors, especially since the Thor does do just simple base damage. 33 base damage per, at um, per attack. And that means 66 base damage per round of attack. Very effective. Especially against units that are do not have that many keywords, such as simply bio, um, biological and psionic. Renegade losing that hatchery pretty much without a fight now. As I believe Select will be perhaps trying to repeat, or sorry, retreat. Now we see a large engagement. Infested Terrans are now coming in. This could be bad for those stores. Ultra is trying to come in. Siege tanks coming in as well. Both sides battling it up. Renegade is losing up a lot of those units. Now we are at 160 versus 160, and the Infested Terrans are really just doing their job absorbing damage and also dishing it back out. Off to the north, we see one Spine Crawler, a little bit of long-distance mining come in from this one particular extractor, as the Hellions are going to finish off this base here at the center nine. Thors and Hellions now looking to back off Select in a very good position. Planetary Fortress with the Abic Abicus Cannon. Now 40 splash damage per round of attack. Can easily take down a swarming group of Zerglings in just a second there. Alright, Infestors and Ultralis look to move out and across the center. And is it going to be enough? Zerglings are going to simply surround. The Thor can just turn around and so perhaps should have just tried to attack the Infestors. Um, as the Infestors are the expensive energy units of Renegade's army. Alright, it looks as though Renegade is not re-establishing the base here at the center 9. He is establishing a base over here at the corner 11 base now. And we'll see whether or not it will be found out by Select. So far, the Banshee now has been revealed because of a fungal growth. Down it goes again. And that Banshee, or the Banshee play, really not doing as much as Select, I think, actually hoped for. But Select does have Thors, and Thors are very difficult to shut down, especially as a Zerg, as you are generally wanting to swarm in with more units. And if Hellions are there, 
Those Thoros do not die to Zerglings. Hellions, Zerglings, Banelings now arrive to the party. 191 versus 183. Sensor Tower now has been established in the center of the map. Pretty much covering everywhere else the Terran player would like to be able to see without compromising any of his army. Perfect, perfect location on that. Yeah. All right. Thors. Nine Thors. One siege tank. The Thors are upgraded to two. We are going to see a very large engagement come in here in just a moment. There's the scanner sweep. The Hellions are trying to get in position. The Thors are going to be in position first. And who is going to attack first as the Thors now pound their way in? This could be a bad, bad sign as both sides are just pounding here. You see Neuroparasite come in and Renegade actually finishing off many of the units as what will we be seeing next? Another unit has been taken down. And now are we going to see perhaps another Neuroparasite in order to finish off the last siege tanks? No, we are not. The Ultralists just want to give hugs to the Terran mech. Who knew that Terran mech was allergic to Ultralist hugs? As Select receives the win over Renegade. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.